Always use safety glasses whenever cutting wire. Today we'll be making a pendant out of a bead utilizing square wire and half round wire. The half round wire will be uh, banded around the square wire to hold the whole thing together. A general rule of thumb is to cut for the half round wire is to cut about four times the circumference of the bead with half round wire. Then straighten the square wire and you'll need uh, approximately the same amount of the square wire and you'll need two pieces approximately the same length. Hold the two square wires together and begin to band with the half round wire. At first this is a little bit uh, tricky but simply place the half round wire with the flat side down against the square wire then pinch I like curved chain nose pliers for this pinch it to tighten it then pull up on that wire and then tighten that half circle if you need to um, squeeze these back together and then pull that straight down and squeeze there. This half round binding around here holds the two square wires tightly together. Then bend both of these up and tighten the outside also. This banding process holds the structure together. Then squeeze these two wires from this direction to point the wires close to one another and pointing straight up from this from the, the two square wires. Adjust these two half round wires to almost form uh, a round wire now that's going to be inserted one wire at a time up into the bead and then just pull this all the way down. This will be a little bit hard to get this in because the two wires have separated slightly. You can uh, squeeze gently to get those wires together to pull this down. Once that has been pushed in there, slowly and carefully form the wire around the outside of the bead. Carefully bypassing the half round wires sticking out of the other end of the hole until it's about to that direction. Then turn and do the same thing with the other side. Now the bead can be round, it can be um, square, it could be just about any uh, shape. Just make sure you have enough wire to go around it and then for um, uh, some excess wire approximately two inches on either side uh, for forming the bale. If you want to make a pendant out of it, they can also be, you can make two of them and make earrings, or they could be just a dangle. At this point, we need to um, turn these wires directly up in the same direction as the half round wires. Again, I like to use the, the uh, curved chain nose pliers to just grab and twist that straight up. So we have one side that has the two wires sticking straight up. Now we've got to go over and do that on the other side also. So pull this down, and these need to meet pretty close together. And it will take a, a, a little bit of practice to get this to be just, just right. But we, we want to have all four of those wires coming up right at about the point where the half round is. So at this point, we want to cut one piece of the half round wire down really close without uh, hurting the other piece of half round wire. So we now have five wires sticking up, the four square wires and the one half round. The half round wire we're going to bind like we did before here, only we're going to do it here with four wires. The best way to do this is to just pull this over to the side. You might need to twist it just slightly so that you can get the making sure that the flat part is going to be against the square wires. I'm just
just pull this over and go around pulling and tightening then go back with your pliers and squeeze that nice and tight and each partial turn just tighten that up and that's going to give you that's going to actually hold the structure together this we call banding and it uh, because the flat portion of the half round on the bottom is holding these square wires together you get you get structure and then you can wrap this about two to three revolutions depending on how you want your final piece to look and just give that a nice little tight squeeze now I want to be able to um, pull two of these wires out from one another and I will use the opposite wire and these will be decorative and then the two wires left will become the bale. Decide which side you want to be the front. Normally I'll have this piece in the back so we'll flip that over and because we want our bale centered I'm going to leave space so that we can continue wrapping with the half round uh, on only these two wires. Leave a little bit of space then bend these wires forward so in a forward motion. Then utilize a dowel, or in this case, we're using one of our ring uh, jump ring mandrels, and then just bend this around. And then you can push with your thumb, or you can use the pliers to get that to come down here. And then we're going to wrap all four of those wires once again with the half round and just continue on to wrap that nice and tight. Again, we need to um, squeeze it so that it holds. Squeeze these and you'll notice as, as we squeeze with the pliers, that tightens everything up. And because this is the back, we're going to end this half round wire by cutting it fairly close there so that we can then bend that down. You don't want that piece sticking up so that it will um, uh, scratch anything. Then just pull this wire up and do the same with the other. And these could be cut off close or they can be bent up. I prefer to cut them and then bend them up. And to do that, again, using the uh, curved chain nose, I just curl that up, working from underneath so that I can see how I'm bending the wire. And so to do this one, I'll flip it upside down, once again hold the pliers underneath, and then twist, re-grab this, and twist that up. And that kind of tidies those two wires. Now we're going to cut these at about um, 10 to 12 millimeters. Um, I like to eyeball things um, because handmade sometimes doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. And then again, holding from below, this is just curled around and under, up into there. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. and make it match somewhat. Now at this point this pendant could be finished or you could open up the sides as I did this. So there's a single wire here and a single wire here and I pulled one wire over and one wire over here and then just took and twisted that wire with round nose pliers. If you don't want to have this coming in the center of your bead you can leave it simply like this making sure that the outside looks like that. Then of course you can also bend the um, bale out if, you, if you'd like to have the, the, the bale open or closed. We have complete instructions on how to do most of these um, items in the wire wrapping component stone setting book. So happy wire wrapping, get some wire, do some bending, and good luck.